in stone for much later on. Know thyself, life of the gods, to the break of dawn. Clear the enemy with the. Hi, Gems. It's your girl Amber here, and welcome back to my channel. Really excited to have this conversation today, just about, as you saw in the title, primers. Because as you guys know, if you've been following me for some time, I am an oily combination skin person. And pretty much everything that I do is based around staying mattified throughout the entire day. And I've had a lot of requests about, you know, Amber, what primers do you use? What's really keeping your skin um, flawless throughout the day so you don't look like a greasy monkey at the end of it all? Like you took a piece of chicken and it was like, whoop, boop, ba doop, boom, T-zone. Um, there's definitely efforts that you can take to avoid that look, um, especially with a, you know, eight hour work shift, 12 hour day, happy hour after work, lead into the evening fun time. Um, and I just wanted to discuss some of the items that I use and why I use them. So if you're interested in seeing what primers I gravitate towards, my holy grail, then keep watching. All right, Jim, so let's just jump right into it. Most of these I feel like you've seen on YouTube from other beauty gurus or makeup enthusiasts such as myself, but I just wanted to speak specifically to the benefits being oily and how it really helps with mattifying. Of course, I do lean more towards foundations that are oil free and that have that mattifying quality already in the formula, but nothing's really gonna set your face off more than setting the foundation and that starts with a really great primer. Um, one disclaimer I want to place out there is that even though I'm oily does not mean I don't moisturize. I moisturize morning and night. Um, specifically when I know I'm doing my makeup in the morning, I do use a different moisturizer just because I don't want to contribute to the oil. Like I don't want to give it a place to live basically on my face. So, um, I've been using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. It's definitely a water... For the skin, it doesn't sit on the layer. It actually penetrates through my pores, and I've just really been loving it. So that's what I use in the morning. But at night, I do use a Sunday Riley um, Perfect Jeans Serum, um, and that just helps brighten, lift, plump, with discoloration, hyperpigmentation. We'll discuss skincare in another video. But um, don't let it fool you. I use a moisturizer all the time. So jumping right into it. This is my Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. Um, I did start out with a tester. You guys know how I am. I never invest in a full size unless it's a winner. Chicken dinner. And this happens to be one of my favorite. Now, um, essentially it does have a cream disposition. But once it dries, I feel like the Becca product just like, like smacks on your face. Like nothing's moving. Like literally... Hence why you need the moisturizer. It literally allows your foundation to sit still. Um, one thing I've learned as I've been using this product is that you just kind of have to find your niche when it comes to what foundations you can use with this product. Because if you start to rub it into the skin, it will start to film up on your skin and look a little second skin like you're peeling for maybe a sunburn. And that's a no-no, honey bunches. But I do pair this a lot with... What do I pair this with? I pair this with my... MAC, the new Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I pair this definitely with my MAC Studio Fix because that's more of a runny foundation. And if you ladies have the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless, um, this is a great combo to use with them. I feel like this leans more towards that whole Milk of Magnesia um, product that a lot of beauty enthusiasts use as a setting uh, primer for their skin. I just have a hard time wrapping my head around it being like a coating for my inner stomach. And putting that on my face. I'm not knocking anyone who tries it, but I just feel like if it was made for my skin, it would say it on the bottle. That particularly claims to inner stomach issues. Okay. So definitely something I feel like those should invest in if they haven't already. Um, I feel like it's the most powerful for oily skin. I find that this really works well with my oil-free mattifying foundations. Just not the foundations that are a little bit thicker, that have more of a, a concealer consistency. Because as I mentioned, to me, I just feel like I start to get those blotched spaces and the skin starts to peel throughout the day. So just be careful what you pair this with. And it's nothing, nothing like trying and testing to know what works for you. A second product that I use, and I haven't invested in the full size of this because I primarily use it in my makeup kit. I just don't feel like it's something that I need to use on a personal personal yeah personal use on a daily basis and this is the poor professional um 
minimize the appearance of pores. This is silicone based and it's quite silky upon the skin. Um, I do like it as a foundation base. Now, as far as like controlling oil, not so much. Uh, minimizing the appearance of pores, sure. It has a silicone finish, so it's going to plug in those areas that kind of are, um, look super uh, like zoomed in in pictures where you see the actual like hair follicles and the pores. So I do find that this plugs really well. It's just, for me, I didn't invest in the full bottle because it didn't provide me with a mattifying um property that's going to really control the oil but i do like it i do i do pair this with a lot of my primers that do control oil because at the end of the day we all have pores not cute in pictures don't want to see that looking back at you so i do suggest trying it this was a ten dollar version um you know if you're mixing with other products i mean it's nice but would i get the full size mm -hmm. especially for oily skin Next, I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And this too is a trial. Um, I didn't want to invest in the full because I use their um, primer spray, which is amazing. I feel like it has a sticky consistency, which I love because then it allows the foundation to really adhere to your skin. I do use this also on my kit. What I love is that it is oil free. It does go on like a silicone finish, but um, I feel like it, it doesn't just sit as a layer on the skin. I feel like it penetrates a little bit more so that it clogs the pores, yes, but it also provides a smooth canvas for foundation application. And this I pair a lot with my foundations that have more of a um, concealer consistency. So definitely works really, really well with my L'Oreal Infallible, which is like... I wear that foundation like every day. It's what I'm wearing today. Like I'm obsessed with that foundation. Between that and the new MAC foundation, like you can't get me any matter. You can't get me any matter. That was corny, right, sorry. So um, yeah, Smashbox is great. I already invested in the full version of the spray, so I didn't feel like I needed to invest in the actual, um, what is this? You know what it is, you get me. So, um, but I do really enjoy it. And like I said, I use this more with my thicker consistent um, foundations and it's and it's shown to, to really work nicely. Next, oh, this baby's almost gone. I'm gonna need to get a new one. This is the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And yes, this is pore eraser, but I mean, ultimately it's a primer as well. I love this. This 100% has blurring properties to hide your pores. I use this every single day. This was in an amazing $6.99 investment. I definitely need to get a couple more. I have one for my kit um, when I'm doing girls out, out and about in the community, but I also have one for myself that I use daily in combination with these other primers because essentially they're all priming your face to prepare for the foundation. And this is really, really good for, um, the blurring and erasing of the pores, but it also allows the foundation to really set nicely as well. Um, and I just wanted to throw in an option that's an inexpensive um, alternative to primers because the back is a little pricey, honey. We already know how she roll. Smashbox is right behind the professional on the cusp of, you know, standard market pricing. But I get this travel size, which is 10 bucks, but you cannot be $6.99. Um, your local Rite Aid, Walgreens, CVS, um, Fred Myers, you can't beat it. And I love it. So I'm definitely going to suggest it to my subscribers. Um, the other two are I guess on the higher end as well, but really, really great and they serve two different purposes. One, um, I'm still kind of testing out, but I wanted to throw it in there as an alternative because um, very similar to my Becca primer, this too is a mattifying base primer. And this is the Makeup Forever Step One Skin Equalizer. Now this has the same finish, in my opinion, as the Becca Skin, what is it? Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming lord perfecter <laughs> but what i like about this one so the back of one like i said when i rub it in i feel like if i i'm sorry rub it in when i place it on my face i kind of have to pat it in, in my t-zone area because if i start to rub it's going to start to film up and it starts to give me issues when i'm applying my foundations hence why i only use it with certain foundations but what i like about the makeup forever and i've been using it for a couple days now and again i've only tested in the small one before i throw out the 30 plus bucks for the larger version, but I'm really liking it. So I can see me investing in the full tube. I like this because it is mattifying. It does feel like it holds your product in place 
very similar to that tight feeling like that Mica Magnesia or even the Becca primer, but it doesn't film. It, it's just, it gives me that, um, that smooth base finish with that tight feeling that you get when you know it's controlling oil. I love that finish. And I didn't have to pat. I was able to rub and it didn't produce a film. Um, I'm really liking it and I'm wearing it today. And I mean, I've had my makeup on, what time is it? It's almost noon. I have I do my makeup in the morning, like first thing I ain't going front, like 6.37. So I mean, shoot, it's been a couple of hours and I've been out and about with the boys and running errands and I feel good. I mean, I'm going somewhere later. So this isn't like, team too much just on a random day but um yeah I really like it and as, again as an alternative it's a little bit cheaper than the Becca so I mean if you can if you want to choose between the two just because of that filming property with the Becca is still really good too um and then the last one that I use which is a prep and prime from MAC this is a skin base what I like about this one and I'm going to show you hopefully it shows up on film what I like about this primer base is that yes, it comes in a white, um, what the heck, what is the word? Yes, it comes in a white cream fluid, whatever. But what I like about it is that there's undertone of like an iridescent shimmer. So oh, you're not gonna see that. Um, and I'll just continue to rub this on my hand as I talk to you. <laughs> but um, it gives you a nice moisturizing feel. It also primes the face for a photo finished with the foundation, but it also has like this underlining sparkle, if that makes any sense. Like what I love about it basically is that when you're putting on foundation over top of it, it kind of gives you that like glow from within, nice, luminous, without using a non oil free foundation. That's what I'm going with. So I do use this a lot. It's super smooth, gives you a nice um, canvas to work on. I've had this for quite some time and I just, I honestly, I lean more towards it in the spring and summertime because you know, there's more sun out, it's hitting your face. You wanna look like, you know, outside of just highlighting and, and, and you know, beating your face with your, with your highlighters. I mean, you also want something underneath and I do pair this a lot with um, the other Becca primer as well that kind of gives you that under the foundation glow but I like that this is two in one so it's prepping and priming my face at the same time if that makes any sense so those are my six six primers that I use um, I rotate them out I have to be honest I use my Maybelline baby skin every single day and then I tend to toggle between my Becca and now my makeup forever mattifying and they have worked beautifully they work really well again with certain foundations so if I'm going for more if I'm going with a foundation that is just an amazing finish but it's not oil free then I tend to use my Becca more but if I have something that's you know semi matte mattifying like snatch you ain't sweating even if you tried then I'll probably use something a little bit more silicone based which would probably be the Maybelline or the Smashbox so um yes there's a primer for every foundation I don't think I don't necessarily believe that there is one primer that can get you through all the products because they all do different things. But to each his own. So until our next video, Jim, shine bright. Bye. The stone for much later on. Know thyself, life of the gods to the break of dawn. Clear the enemy with